Hey buddy, it's Ray. So, I think it was last week. Time, you know. I showed you guys <laughs> my mess up one. Okay, I did it get out better. It did get better. They are super comfy and cozy. So I'm definitely ready for winter. But I went and complained to well to everybody. But I complained to um, Aaron at Crafting Kitty that, you know, I think I kind of got knitting down. It was like ribbed, like a Priscilla at Distinctive Crochet. See, uh -huh. got it this time. Um, told me to try to do the, on this one, like I just skipped and skipped, you know. I knitted one and I purled one, knit one, purled one. Sorry, I just woke up. And, yeah. Oh, that was not what I was expecting. Okay, um, anyways. Rambling. So, um, hopefully I'll be able to insert the clip here. The, um... Am I making it clip? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Making it clip. Mm hmm. And so I'm going to wait a minute. So you seen the clip, you seen it. Didn't they turn out awesome? So this is the pattern Erin sent me. She made up a pattern that she didn't even realize she had made up at the time. <laughs> um, but I followed her directions and I got this really cool slipper. Look, it's like got the backs formed. And then the toe. definitely here's the other one definitely improvement on uh this <laughs> so I got purple slippers now and they're so cozy they're made out of the same kind of uh yarn this was it's just a different color I think this was called bubble fruit tea and it's like what is it 90% alpaca or something and 10% stelina and then this is the same, but this is called um, Butterfly Pea Flower, I think. It's super pretty. Yeah, I like it. So I am totally ready for cold weathers now. I got my cozy slippers. Um, I This pattern that Erin made up was super freaking easy. Um, I think it took me... So these took me like a week to make. And these took me like, I think two days, like a day of slipper. Okay, actually these took me like years to make because to figure out and to get it in my brain how to do stuff right. So these took a lot longer. These ones were super easy. They took me a day for each one. Um, Obviously, if I keep practicing, which I have not been because I have to work on, well, I don't have to, but I'm making um, my first bod pattern ever. I'm doing that um, for um, Aaron's uh, Creator Spotlight. I figured, oh, that'd be the perfect time to do my first bod pattern. We'll talk about that later. Um, but I do want to mention, um, 
the unicorn utopia friendship blanket thing that we got going uh, me and Aaron at crafting kitty um, I'll link the pattern down below that we're using we gave ourselves until December 16th I think is the end of it um, nobody's messaged me and want to join it doesn't have to be that blanket it could be like any friendship type blanket anything unicorny and if you want to like switch with somebody um i know somebody's messaged aaron about it but nobody's messaged me oh that was so pitiful <laughs> um so if you guys want to join in that would be awesome um there is going to be it's like associated with a giveaway um, I think the end date's December 16th to get your pictures in. And <clears throat> what we're trying to do is get people to make friendship blankets and switch them with somebody else or, you know, something unicorny. And then, um, you'll be entered to win the Unicorn Utopia prize giveaway. Um, I do have... I think three things for it so far. Um, I know one of them is going to be a unicorn hank of yarn from Hobie. Um, so, yeah. I'll put all the details below in the description box. Because I always ramble down there anyways. Uh, I'm trying to think if I'm supposed to say anything else. Don't believe so. So, tons of emojis for everybody. Alright, bye guys. See you next time.